I was reading a story here about uh, the U.S. Navy and the uh, Republic of Korea Air Force having joint exercises called Freedom Shield 25. In this article, they talk about the uh, Freedom Shield 25, and they talk about the U.S. Navy, U.S. Air Force, and the Republic of Korea Air Force exercising with their F-25, F-35s, I'm sorry, in uh, joint operations, which is a, a good thing. This is definitely a good thing. Our relationship with Korea is very important beyond our military our military's uh, relationships. The manufacturing relationship is going to be just as important as they're probably going to end up building some of our upcoming frigates. But during their exercise, one of the things they did was they practiced uh, maritime interdiction. And the maritime interdiction role has been something that the U.S. Air Force is finally coming back around to. It's something that they, after the Cold War, basically left that to the Navy. And I've got another article about something I remember that was really, really something that we're going to check out here. This is during SYNC-X in 2024. The ex-USS Tarawa and the ex-USS Dubuque were sunk by aircraft and surface warfare in an exercise that also tested a new weapon system called sync -X, uh, not called sync -X, called Quick-Sync. Quick-Sync is pretty cool. QuickSync is the use of a 2,000-pound GPS-guided bomb to go after a ship. Now I'm going to show you exactly what this does. And in just seconds, that ship, obviously not the size of a destroyer or a frigate or an amphibious transport or anything, or obviously of the size of ex-USS Tarawa or ex-USS Dubuque. But you can see how quickly that just gets done away with. We'll go to a different angle here. This is the same test bombing, different angle. Lands right next to it. Explodes underneath the keel. And this is from the deck camera. So you really get a feel of what happens here. Going back, you can see the impact point is right next to the ship. It goes underneath the ship where it detonates. And the entire ship breaks in half. Her back is broken. And that's it. And this is what your final view would be going down. That's kind of creepy. And this is what was left of the uh, test vessel using a sonar. As you can see, she's been absolutely destroyed flipped side by side with one another her back has been completely destroyed her upper it's just a mangled mess but that's one of the systems that the u.s has been testing for maritime interdiction and when you have exercises like you have with uh, the republic of korea and the u.s air force it's a great big world out there you know that something like QuickSync was in the plans. If they didn't actually utilize the weapon system in a target, on a target, my guess is is that they 
simulated the use of quick sync. The, of your news? the potential of uh, a quick sync weapon system is pretty astonishing. Pretty astonishing. What this article is specifically about uh, the ex USS Tarawan, ex USS Dubuque, is that. It was the B-2 that launched the quick sync weapon systems. Now, the test that you just saw, the video of that, was done by an F-15. The fact that this can now be deployed on our long-range strategic bombers is an additional plus, because it'll be long-range bombers, long-range aircraft that have to do maritime interdiction where the Navy isn't present. And back in World War II, there's so many stories of flights and flights of bombers coming in, dive bombers, missing target, missing target, missing target, missing target, not even coming close. I believe it was one in four was expected to actually be a hit on a, di on a U.S. Navy dive bomber run. Well, on this you're probably bringing the odds to a 70 to a 90 percent chance that the weapon is going to impact to where you want it to is which is right next to the ship go under the ship and detonate so there's a 70 to 90 percent chance that you are going to be successful in your strike and quick sync is with almost every bomb being tested. The so between that and uh, it, obviously our adversaries are going to do something very similar and create something very similar for use against us. But cheap, effective, get rid of uh, large ships, small ships. You saw what it did to the small ship. And that ship is uh, gone. It is just gone. Capability technology demonstration and an adversary in the southwest pacific is going to have a lot of vessels this size and the fact that it under 60 seconds it literally disappears from the surface this is going to be a huge a huge gain for us for anybody and it's my hope that uh I recommend you give War Thunder this was try. used it's a military in vehicle combat game, which you can download these exercises, free on PC, PlayStation and it's my and hope Xbox that this with becomes a weapon support. system of choice. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft. But tanks, being that I, see, I, I had read about those exercises, and it was just a few months ago that uh, Quick Sync was used by the B-2, we had the U.S. Navy, U.S. Air Force, and the Republic of Korea Air Force, I have to assume. Which will I'm hoping free tank, that Quick Sync was utilized in the planning and exercising, and uh, using our link in the description below. expanding so our expanding our inventory, expanding our inventory. The world. This is just kind of a cool thing, and I wanted to just bring it to everyone's attention. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Thank you.